Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at the Corsair Vengeance DDR3 8GB RAM kit. These are two 4GB modules and it has a nice thing to go on the shelves there and to get into it you'll need your laser guided scissors. So you snip off the piece of plastic holding it in and undo the box. Thankfully it's not blister packaging, it's just nice little bits of plastic that come apart, it's on a hinge. And here's your RAM. DDR3-1600, in case you're wondering, and it's the Corsair Vengeance range. So we're opening the plastic, and we can have a good look at it. Just pulls apart just like that. I'm going to hold it by the heatsink, do not hold RAM by the contacts. There it is. Now this RAM is very special, it's overclockable to 1866MHz on your motherboard. And here's how to fit the RAM. Firstly, you need to remove the Corsair Dominator memory fan if you have one. Of course, other brands available. You then need to earth yourself and remove the other RAM. Bear in mind, you may have two RAM clips for each module. I only have one, so at the top. And they just slide out just like so. Just take a little bit of persuasion, but there we go. So this is normal RAM. It's not the fancy stuff with the heatsink. It's the Corsair value selector as you can see there. This is DDR3133. So we're going to have a significant jump up. So that is our DDR3-1600 Corsair Vengeance RAM. Again, this is 4 gig, so we're going to have 16 gigabytes in total. You open up the plastic packaging, and then you need to slot your RAM in. Take note of which position the key is in. So you can slide it in from the bottom, because this is my motherboard, and it has one clip at the top. Why? I don't know. So once it's all in, just like that, you've got 16 gigabytes of RAM. Make sure it is all inside the case and you can refit your memory fan, like so. And here it is booting up in 1600, and then when you overclock your system, you end up with 1872. That is 1866 RAM. I don't think 1866 is a weird number. Yeah? 